give it time I know that I'm not easy This cold heart of mine She really took a beating before you the grand hall was buzzing with excitement. It was the wedding day of John Jungkook, a powerful mafia boss, and everyone was eager to witness the union. Jungkook stood at the altar, looking sharp in his suit, his heart racing with anticipation. He was finally going to marry the woman he loved. The music began and the large doors at the end of the aisle opened. The bride appeared dressed in a beautiful white gown, while her face hidden by a long veil. The guests fell silent and all eyes on her as she started to walk down the aisle. Jungkook couldn't take his eyes off her, feeling an unusual warmth in his chest, something close to happiness. But as she got closer, something felt off. Her walk seemed too careful, too practiced. His gut told him something was wrong, but he pushed the feeling aside, thinking it was just nerves. Finally, she reached him. Jungkook reached out to take her hand, ready to start their life together. But the moment he touched her, he froze. The hands weren't right. They were rougher, unfamiliar. A cold chill ran down his spine. Without a second thought, he grabbed the veil and ripped it off. What he saw made his blood boil. It wasn't his bride. It was Hana, your stepsister. You, what are you doing here? Hannah seems to get scared but she knew it won't be easy and that's why she was prepared but seeing the anger in Jungkook's eyes she knew things didn't go as planned. She didn't think that Jungkook will lift up her veil before the marriage. Jungkook, where is Vyan? I said where is she? He shouted, Jungkook please listen. The guest gasped in shock. The room suddenly filled with tension. Jungkook's face twisted with rage as he grabbed Hana by her throat, squeezing just enough to make her struggle for air. Where is she? What did you do to her? Hana's eyes were wide with fear. She tried to speak but his grip was too tight. Jungkook, please. She choked out. I didn't want to do this. They made me. She had to be stopped. Jungkook's eyes turned dark. Stopped. If anything happened to her, you are dead. He shoved her away, making her stumble. Hana gasped for air, looking terrified. I'll make you regret your whole existence if even she got a scratch. He strummed out from there while his man ran on a mission to find you. Hana dropped on her knees and cried because she knew now her life is over. Meanwhile, in a room far from the ceremony, you were banging on the door, your heart pounding in panic. You had been so ready to walk down that aisle and marry Jungkook, but then your stepsister Hana had locked you in this room. Hana, open the door, let me go. You screamed, desperation creeping into your voice. You pounded on the door again, but it wouldn't budge. Trapped, you felt tears of frustration welling up in your eyes. This was supposed to be your special day, but now you were locked away helpless. From the distance, you could hear the faint sounds of the wedding, the music, the whispers. Hana was probably walking down the aisle in her place right now. The thought made you feel sick. You couldn't let her do this. You had to find a way out. Gathering all your strength, you hit the door again, shouting as loud as you could. Please, somebody help me. You can't do that, Hana. Please stop for God's sake. But the room was thick with silence, your cries seemingly lost in the walls. Time passed, each second feeling like an eternity. You couldn't stop thinking about what might be happening at the ceremony. Would Jungkook notice something was wrong? Would he know it wasn't you? He had to believe that he would. Jungkook wasn't just any man. He was sharp and he loved you deeply. He wouldn't be fooled so easily. But Hana looks a lot like you, except some facial features. 
your height, body, everything seemed pretty same and that's why she tricked you and locked you here to replace you. Then just when you were about to lose hope, you heard footsteps approaching. Your heart leaped and you banged on the door again. I'm in here, please help me. You cried out, your voice got hoarse from shouting. The footsteps stopped right outside the door. For a moment you feared they might walk away but then the handle turned and the door slowly opened. There he was, Jungkook. His face was hard with anger but his eyes softened the moment they saw you. Relief washed over you as you stumbled into his arms without saying a word. Jungkook pulled you into a tight hug holding you close as if he was afraid to let go. You could feel the tension in his body, the rage simmering just beneath the surface. Are you okay? He asked quietly, his voice thick with concern. You nodded while tears falling from your eyes. I'm okay now that you're here. Hana, she locked me up here, Jungkook. He again hugged you while his eyes turned down. I thought I'm gonna lose you today. I'm only your swine. No one can change that and she'll going to pay for this. Let's go now. He pulled back and cupped your face before wiping off your tears. Hannah had always been the jealous type but no one including you ever thought she would go this far. You and Hannah were stepsisters and while you tried your best to get along with her over the years, she always seems to resent you. Your relationship was strained, to say the least, but you never expected her to act on her jealousy in such a sinister way. Jungkook was a man of power and influence, feared and respected by many but he only ever had eyes for you. You had captured his heart, something no one else had ever managed to do. Your relationship wasn't just about love, it was built on trust, mutual respect and a deep connection. Jungkook's world was dark and dangerous but he always made you feel safe and cherished. Hana on the other hand had always felt overshadowed by you. Growing up, she often compared herself to you, envying how people seem to naturally gravitate towards you including Jungkook. She saw the way he looked at you, how he cared for you and now his entire demeanor or softened whenever you were around him. It drove her mad with jealousy. Hana convinced herself that she deserves the life you were about to have, marrying Jungkook and becoming part of his powerful world. In her mind, she believed that if she could replace you, she could finally have everything she had always envied. So she made a plan to take your place on her wedding day. On the morning of your wedding, you woke up early, eager to prepare for the big day. Hana offered to help you get ready, continuing her act of being the caring sister. But as you were getting dressed, Hana made her move. Why don't you take a moment to breathe and relax before everything starts? It's going to be a long day and you should have a moment to yourself. She says smiling at you like she's your biggest well wisher. I don't know Hana, I'm nervous. I always waited for this day, but there's a very unsettling feeling inside. I hope everything will go smoothly. She came near you, her eyes on your wedding ring. Don't worry, everything will be fine. There's still some time left so you can rest before getting ready. You have to look fresh and beautiful. You smiled and nodded. Thanks for being here with me, Hana. You agree, thinking a few moments alone would be nice. Hana led you to a small room connected to your dressing area, suggesting you to sit and gather your thoughts. You didn't think twice about it and stepped inside. As soon as you entered, Hana swiftly closed the door behind you and locked it from the outside. You heard the click of the lock and immediately realized something was wrong. You rushed to the door, pounding on it and shouting, but there was no response. Hana had locked you in. Hana, open the door. Stop this and open the door. You noticed your hand and her engagement ring wasn't there. Your heart dropped when you realized why Hana became so sweet and helpful towards you. She was fooling you and waited for the right time. Let me out, Hana. What are you doing? 
You shouted, panic rising in your chest, but Hana ignored your pleas. She knew you wouldn't be able to get out in time, and she quickly put on your veil and engagement ring, completing her disguise. Then she calmly walked out of the room, ready to take your place at the altar. The atmosphere in the grand hall was tense, filled with whispers and nervous glances as the guests tried to make sense of what had just happened. Hana was standing trembling near the altar, her face pale with fear. She had never seen Jungkook so angry and now she awaited her fate, terrified of what would come next. Suddenly the large doors at the end of the aisle swung open and there he was, Jungkook, his expression dark and maniacing and he walked back into the hall but this time he wasn't alone. Walking beside him holding his arm was you, dressed in a different wedding gown but unmistakably the true bride. Your presence was commanding, your eyes filled with both anger and hurt as you faced the woman who tried to take everything from you. The room fell silent as the two of you walked down the aisle together, Jungkook's protective hand resting on your waist. The guests watched in awe, sensing the power of the bond between you and Jungkook. When you reached the altar, Jungkook stepped forward, his voice cold and unforgiving. He looked at Hana with intensity and rage blinding his eyes. Why did you do this? What made you think you could get away with stealing what was never yours? Hana's eyes filled with tears while her lower lip trembled. I I didn't mean to. I just I just wanted a chance, a chance to be someone to have something that was truly mine. She stammered. You step forward, your voice steady but filled with emotion. A chance to be someone. Hana, you have always taken from me every precious thing I've ever had. You have tried to take away and now you even try to take the man I love, the life I was meant to have. You were in disbelief. Hana's tears began to flow freely as she collapsed to her knees, sobbing. I'm sorry, I've always felt like I was living in your shadow. You were always the favorite, always the one people admired. I thought if I could have what you had, maybe just maybe I'd finally... Jungkook's expression softened slightly but only for a moment. His voice was still laced with anger. You didn't just try to take what was hers, Hana. You tried to destroy her happiness and mine. Do you think that's something I can just forgive? He turned to you, his eyes searching yours. What do you want to do with her? It's your call. Whatever you decide, I'll support you. Look at Hana, your heart a mix of anger and sadness. The betrayal cut deep, but as you watched her cry, broken and defeated, you felt a wave of something else. Pity. Hana, what you did was wrong. It was a cruel and selfish. But this isn't just about today, it's about all the times you have taken from me. My toys when we were kids, my friends, my chances. You have always wanted what I had, but never worked to earn it yourself. Hana looked at you, her face streaked with tears. I know, I know I've been awful to you. I've always been jealous, always wanted to be in your place. But I see now, I see how wrong I was. She whispered while her voice was filled with regret. You took a deep breath, feeling the weight of your decision. I should hate you for this and part of me does but hate only breeds more hate if i hold on to it i'll never truly be happy after all you're my sister even though you never consider yourself one there was pain in your eyes knowing that you never get the love you deserve it from a family after your mother's death but you need to understand hana that what you have done today isn't something that can be easily forgotten but I'm not going to ruin you for it. I'm not like you. Jungkook looked at you. His love for you doubled, seeing your kindness even for people who did bad to you. Hana's eyes widened in surprise, unable to believe what she was hearing. I'm going to forgive you, not because you deserve it, but because I deserve peace. And I don't want to carry this burden of anger with me into my marriage, into my future. But don't mistake my forgiveness for weakness. If you ever try to hurt me or anyone I love again, you won't get a second chance. Jungkook's hand tightened around yours, his heart swelling with pride and love. He had always known you, you were strong, but your kindness, even in the face of such betrayal, made him fall even deeper in love with you. 
थैंक यू शी विस्पर बाउंग हर हैड इन शेम थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी अ चांस टू बी बेटर जंकुक स्टेप फॉरवर्ड हिज वॉइस काम बट फॉर्म यू आर लकी शी इज द वन डिसाइडिंग योर फेट है ना बट मेक नो मिस्टेक इफ यू एवर क्रॉस द लाइन अगेन देर विल बी नो फॉर गिवनेस यू लीव नाउ एंड नॉट रिटर्न एंडल यू हैव फाउंड अ वे टू मेक अमेंस डोंट फेस द मर्सी She nodded while tears still streaming down her face. She stood up shakily and without another word walked out of the hall. Her steps heavy with the weight of what she had done. With Hana gone the tension in the room slowly began to lift. The guests were still in shock but the atmosphere shifted as Jungkook turned to you his expression softened as he covered your face in his hands. He amazed me even after everything she did. You still found it in your heart to forgive her. I don't think I could have been that strong. He whispered as his eyes were filled with love. You smiled tears of relief finally escaping your eyes. I didn't do it for her. I did it for us. I want to start our life together without any darkness hanging over us. Jungkook leaned down and pressed a gentle kiss to your forehead. You are the most incredible person I've ever known, and I promise I'll spend the rest of my life making you happy. He pulled back and took your hand guiding you back to the altar. The guests now smiling and relieved watching as the ceremony continued. The officiant who had been standing quietly through the chaos cleared his throat and resumed his place. Shall we continue? He asked with a warm smile. You and Jungkook nodded your hands tightly clasped together. The vows you exchanged were filled with love and sincerity, each word carrying the weight of everything you had just been through. The officiant smiled warmly at both of you. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Jungkook didn't hesitate. He pulled you close, his lips meeting yours in a kiss that was both tender and passionate, sealing your vows with a promise of forever. The guests erupted in applause. The joy in the room could be seen as they witnessed the love that had built stronger over everything. As he pulled away, Jungkook rested his forehead against yours. His eyes locked onto yours with a love so deep it made your heart ache. I love you. He whispered, his voice full of emotion. I love you too. You replied, smiling through your tears. You still can't believe that you finally got married to the man who loved you like no one ever did. He became your everything, and you have no doubt and regret for falling in love with him. As you stopped into the soft lit room the weight of the day seemed to lift leaving just you and Jungkook in the quiet intimate space you turned to him a playful smile tugging at your lips are you really my husband now Jungkook grinned as his eyes twinkled with mischief as he stepped closer do you still doubt it should i prove it don't worry we have the whole night he said teasingly You laughed softly the sound filled with joy and relief I can't believe this day has finally come You whispered your fingers tracing the lines of his face Jungkook leaned in his forehead resting against yours as he gazed into your eyes I have been waiting for this moment to finally call you mine to know that we are starting our forever together You smiled tears of happiness filling in your eyes And I have been waiting to call you mine You replied your voice barely above a whisper. He kissed you then a sweet lingering kiss that conveyed all the love he felt for you. When he pulled back he smiled softly brushing a strand of hair from your face. So Mrs. John, are you ready to spend the rest of your life with me? You nodded feeling a wave of contentment wash over you. I am. You said while your voice steady and full of love. Jungkook smiled wide and he lifted you up into his arms carrying you to the bed. Good. 
he whispered laying you down gently because i'm never letting you go the night was quiet and peaceful filled with soft laughter and whispers promises of a future together as you lay in his arms the world outside seemed to fade away leaving just the two of you wrapped up in each other